Pokemon Go Bonte. Folks, I am hugely excited. I'm hugely excited. I awoke yesterday morning with this thought in my mind. And this is what I was thinking. You know, as Christians, when we awake first thing in the morning, we are stepping into answered prayer. That's right. We are stepping into answered prayer. We begin our day stepping into answered prayer. We begin our day stepping into the promises of God. We begin our day stepping into the blessings that he has given us. What an exciting way to start the day. It doesn't matter about the circumstances we find ourselves in. It doesn't matter what's going on in our world. And some of it is really, really tough. And I'm not taken away from any of that. The reality still is that we're stepping into a position of answered prayer. Now, how can I go and say that? Jesus goes and says, ask and you shall receive. And this line has been buzzing around my brain for months now. Anybody who's been meeting me knows this, right? So we ask, you shall receive. That's it. It's that simple. Obviously, it must be in accordance with God's will. Mark 11 and verse 24 goes and says that if you ask, whatever you ask in my name, if you believe you have received, it will be given unto you. So you see, the thing is, what we're actually doing is we're stepping into waiting. We're stepping into waiting for the Lord to fulfill that prayer. We're stepping into the fulfillment of the prayer. And that is a journey, a process. So here's the thing. You see, with faith, with those of us who believe in the words of Jesus Christ, with those of us who believe Jesus Christ, here's what it is. Believing is seeing, not seeing is believing. The world tells you, seeing is believing. If I see it, I believe it. But this is, no, believing is seeing. Lord, I believe your word. I believe what you're saying. And so I have full confidence that you are going to fulfill your word. And now think about this. Think about the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, whatever title you give it. Just think about this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, just think about that. It is already done in the heavenlies because we're asking that God is going to fulfill his will on earth, in our lives, as it already is in heaven. Woo, that is exciting because that means, folks, that when I pray that, I'm actually stepping into answered prayer. I am stepping into the promises that God has already given me. I'm stepping into the blessings that God has poured out upon me. I'm stepping into the fact that God has blessed me with, in, with every spiritual gift. In and through Christ Jesus. Every spiritual blessing. That is my reality. Irrespective of what is taking place in the physical Irrespective of the bad news that I've received, irrespective of whatever circumstances you or I are facing this day, the reality is that we have still stepped into answered prayer. So the prayer that's on your heart, the cry of your heart, how often do you need to keep asking God to go and answer your prayer? Smith Wigglesworth would go and say, all you need to do is ask one time. After that, you have a lack of faith. Now, I don't quite agree with him because we have the Bible story which goes and shows us where the widow kept going back and kept going back to the unjust judge. But God goes and says in that, or Jesus goes and says of God in that, just as that judge went and gave her her wish, how much more will your heavenly Father do what you ask? Now, obviously, it's in accordance and keeping with his will. But today, the prayer of your heart, the prayer that you have submitted to the Lord, stop asking and let's just start thanking God for answered prayer. Thanking God that he is fulfilling this prayer in your life. Thanking God that he has answered it. And then when you awake in the morning and put a foot out of the bed, you're stepping into the prayer that is already answered. You're just journeying through its fulfillment. You know, that is so exciting. That just breathes such confidence and joy and excitement into our lives, irrespective, as I said, of the circumstances that we find ourselves in. Is it any wonder that Paul and the other apostles go and encourage us to always pray with thanksgiving, to make our requests known to God? Because why? We know that God 
answers prayer. We know that we are stepping into answered prayer. And it is transformative to us. It is so exciting to be stepping into a day with that sort of blessing. Now, whoo, I hope you get the gist. I hope you're excited. I hope this fires you up. That today, you, as you just go about your life, you are stepping into answered prayer. Father, thy will be done in my life, in our lives, as it is in heaven. To your glory, Father, and your glory alone. To the power of the Holy Spirit, and in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me for this on Cup of Tea.